Hey everyone, it's your solid coach and today we'll be doing part G, our qualitative observations. So let's get started. So the first thing about our qualitative observations is that we're going to have two different sections, our procedures and our results. But in our procedures, which is what we're going to be going over right now, we have our before, during, and after. Now these ones must be done in complete sentences just like we've done in all of the other ones and they cannot have any bullet points. Next, it has to have really specific and descriptive vocabulary about what we will think will happen or mostly about our observations. That's the most important thing. This is all going to be about observations, about what is going on, not what we think is going to happen. And lastly, we need to make sure that we don't give any numbers or um, estimates, nothing like that. We may give estimates and some type of guessing, but it's very important not to be exact or give any numbers. So let's start with the before section. So doing our uh, procedures observations before, some sentence starters would be like, before the experiment started, I noticed that another important observation I saw was, lastly, a conclusion I found was something about that before you start your procedure. And some of the topics you can use, not only for this, but for other ones as well, is your environment, the quality of your materials, the surface the experiment is being tested on, and so on. But the most important one is your environment, talking about how some things may affect it or maybe how you um, may see some data change because of what's going on in your environment. Next, we're going to be looking at our procedure observations during the experiment. So some of this could be one observation that I found was a negative observation I found during the procedure was lastly, an observation made during the procedure was that and I said an error in the experiment or your environment because something that is pretty easy to write about is something wrong, something missing. Like we always want the best. That's what humans are. That, that, that's just who we want to be, right? So we always want to think about the most, the most we can achieve, right? So it's going to be something that we can instantly think about, some type of error in the experiment, which is what we're going to end up with. Next, we're going to have procedures, observations after the experiment. So one observation I made was that this would be like a problem found. Another observation found was that something random. Lastly, an observation made was that something about the environment. So some topics you can use for this is like you should make an observation of the person doing the experiment. Literally throw him or her under the bus. It doesn't even matter. Just throw them under the bus and use this as an observation because it's very interesting and easy to write about an observation used on the people. You may have a problem writing about the materials, but writing about an observation of someone else is very important. Now for before, during, and after, I'd say having about two to three sentences is a good amount to have max points on this section. Now let's go to results. These only have two different sections, during and after. So this time you want to talk straightly about the subject because that's what we're calculating, right? That's what we're looking at and that's what we're observing. We don't want to talk about any other materials because that could really just make the focus on some other thing instead of the plane, which is our subject right now. Next, we don't want to talk about the process, only the result, because that could go back to our procedures, which could get some points off on your um, exam. So some sentence starters could be like this, where you could be talking about the color, maybe um, something happening to the control, like a difference, or maybe something unexpected happening, or like a formation of a new chemical if this is a chemical experiment, or you could find and see that there's a removal or lower effect um, being caused on the subject, like removal of certain colors or some texture. And lastly, talking about the observations after the experiment of your results, we can say that the subject went the farthest, deepest, whatever, something like that, right? And that is a good estimate to make. You don't want to give this one made 10 meters or something, right? You're still going to write it all down, but you're not going to give it like this. And then you can also talk about how the results go towards or away from our hypothesis. Like we may say that um, it, we're going to restate our hypothesis, which is very important. You may say, oh, it goes back to our hypothesis. No, you need to restate your hypothesis, give a summary of it, and then say whether your observation goes towards or against that hypothesis. So that's all of there is going to be about qualitative observations. And next, we're going to be going on to quantitative observations in the next video. So thank you for listening.